Now, what's going on over here? Breakfast! All right, Puss Peter has been fed. And I got my cup of coffee, so I can't think of any more business uh, that needs to be taken care of. I have spoken to the almighty chat GPT about which YouTube channels grow the fastest. So buckle your seatbelts, kids, because we're going educational. Kalimera children, please settle down so we can begin with today's class. Yanis, can you stop with this attack here already? Aristopoli. Okay, today's subject for our class is going to be Leonidio. I've had the pleasure of staying in Leonidio almost two months at this point. This beautiful village has been growing a lot in the last 10 years because of tourism. But people don't come here only in the summer, but also in the winter. And despite beautiful mountains and the fact that they do have a snow here, it's not for skiing, but it's for these beautiful rocks and some of the most amazing rock climbing. Whether you come with a van or you stay in one of the beautiful Airbnbs, there's plenty of stuff you can do here. On a hot day you can go enjoy the beach or have a Freddo Espresso in one of these beautiful cafes in the center. And if you have a car, uh, you can go visit for example the Alona Monasterio. When you're in the center you should not miss on Panjika. It's the local cooperative that runs a climbing shop and a little cozy cafe slash restaurant. There are also authors of one of the two guidebooks uh, for the climbing sectors here. Make sure to go visit and support. They take care of development of new routes and there is a lot of potential still here. So I'm sure uh, they can use the support. Okay, anyways, any questions on this? Oh yes, Nikos? Nikos, how many Kalamatano lips do you think you can stuff in your mouth? Nikos. <coughs> Nikos, tamata! Staying in a van in Leonido can be surprisingly eventful, but if you follow a few simple rules, you will uh, not end up having oranges thrown at your van or oranges stolen from your van. But let's first cover the basics. For food, there is a street market every Monday where the local farmers are selling their produce. 
It is delicious, fresh, and so far also inflation proof. For sleeping, I do need to mention Plaka. It's a free parking area that belongs to a beach bar. The beach bar is closed over the winter, but the owners have left the toilets open for everyone to use. There's also a shower at the beach, so this place just has it all. In the winter, it becomes really busy with climbers just staying there. So if you're traveling by yourself, it's the best place to meet new people. So what is it with all this orange throwing that's been going on? Well, climbers have been coming here more and more in the last 10 years, a lot of them staying in their vans. Some of them often stay right at the riverbed in the city center, or they park it right next to the cemetery where there is a free water access. Well, unfortunately, locals have found human fecal matter in their olive gardens, and seeing people wash their genitals in a cemetery can be pretty disrespectful to the elderly religious population here. This resulted in a commando of orange throwers uh, attacking the vans parked in the city center in the middle of the night. Their valiant effort has led to the vans leaving the city center. Now, fortunately, it seems that there has been more of a dialogue going on between the municipality and its residents to understand the frustrations and how to resolve them. Uh, they have issued a statement politely asking the campers not to use the cemetery for camping or not to really park in the middle of the center or in front of other people's houses, other people's fences. And instead, just to go to the free placa where there's the toilets, there's the showers, or to use any other spots outside of Laonidia. And that seems to be pretty reasonable to me. Okay, kids, there is no reason to worry. Nikos will be fine. They found all the olives. Let's use this incident as a bit of a learning lesson. So, who can tell me what's a good way to describe uh, what Nikos did today? Anyone? Me, me. Alex, please. Malakia. Yes, that's correct. Malakia. And that makes Nikos what? Apostolis? Malaka. Malaka. Correct. Nevertheless, there still seem to be some issues with break-ins, particularly on a road leading to more remote sectors further from Leonidio. Back in November, there was an incident involving five cars. They all had their back windows broken in, although apparently nothing has really gotten lost. I myself have had a good luck of a involuntarily participation in the Leonidio's version of X3 Makeovers, the van edition. And despite someone going through everything in my car, nothing valuable has really gotten lost. The only items missing were a bag of oranges and some medicine. I initially suspected someone with the serious case of the flu, but seeing that oranges are used as an ammunition in Leonidio, I suspect there is a bigger conspiracy to unravel. All right, kids, looks like this is it for us for today. So please remember to do your homework. Why are you running, Apostolis? I'm not even finished yet. Be careful, it's full plates. Opa. Anyways, I do honestly think these are just a few hiccups on a road of Leonidio becoming the go-to place for rock climbing in Greece, next to places like Kalimnos. I do really just want to see this place grow, and so please make sure to come. Make a project, send your project, spend some money, enjoy the laid back vibe. And if you have any more questions about Leonidio, please let me know, I'll be happy to answer. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the videos that I never make. And one more thing. In Leonidio, they have this unique Easter tradition. Locals release these handmade lanterns into the sky at midnight. So make sure to find a good spot and enjoy the amazing show. Try to catch me howling at the moon.